You see, we have to always decide when somebody's having a conversation with us, are they explaining it or are they proving it? People usually fool themselves. They explain it and they think they're proving it. If you ask somebody, how do you know Jesus died for your sins? What's the proof? He starts to tell you about, well, you see, God is holy, man's a sinner, Jesus has to die and so on. That's not the proof. That's an explanation. That's how it's supposed to work. I know that. How do you know what happened, you see? It's the proof you want. In the Catholic Church, I couldn't find that, that proof, because they tend to look to authorities other than the Scripture, the Bible. Don't be confused. If there's one thing I wish I could hammer into everybody's head, it's this idea. Explanation is not the same as proof. I asked a man one time in Australia, same thing. I said, how do, you, how do you know man has to have his sins redeemed? And he said, well, God is 100% holy. 100% holy. You are a sinner. God cannot deal with you directly because he is 100% holy. You are a certain percentage sinner. It's an explanation. It's an explanation, but is it true? See, think about it. If I told you that in New York City is the holiest man that ever lived, I could talk about him for an hour maybe and I build up a great reputation I say he's the holiest human being that ever lived. Finally maybe you'd say, well, I'm going to save my money. I want to go to New York City and meet him. I want to shake his hand. And I'll tell you, no, no, no. He won't even let you come in the same room with him. He's too holy. You can talk to his secretary, but he couldn't stand to look at you. He's too holy. Now what do you think of the man? Is he holy or is he crazy?